Hey guys, Kyle R1945 from the uh, Saddle Hunter Forum, and I wanted to do a quick review on the new hybrid by Mr. John over at JX3 Outdoors. Uh, so for all of you guys on the forum that are curious, YouTube viewers, you guys, uh, that if you're familiar with the Old Guido's Web, if you're not, if you're interested in getting in saddle hunting, if you're looking for something that eliminates hip pinch or messing with tether height and all of that jazz and getting into something a little bit more comfortable, maybe a little less to deal with, um, maybe a little more function, um, this may be something to, to check out. So a little backstory, uh, Mr. Butch retired, the guy who came up with the Guido's Web. Mr. John took over and uh, he, he kind of put his spin on it. I've had a Guido's Web for several seasons myself. Uh, it is hands down the most comfortable seat in the woods. I can't think of anything even close to it. Uh, but I live in South Louisiana and hunt a lot in South Louisiana and there's two areas that stand was lacking. That is, I can't use it in 75 degree or above heat or I'm sweating like a pig. And then the other is the utility or the function of it. Granted, it was very comfortable, but you essentially were shoving stuff between the seat and uh, it, you know, it had standard backpack straps and that wasn't its intention. Its intention was to be a comfortable seat in the woods and it served that purpose beautifully. Um, through a couple of, uh, couple of coincidences, I ended up talking with Mr. John and uh, he agreed to, to get a standout to me a little early to let me do a review. I wanted to share that with you guys give him some feedback, hopefully uh, get this thing going in the right direction. Um, the two things that made me decide to finally press go on this were the ability to use it in warm weather and that it, uh, it functions as a frame pack. So I'm gonna kinda open this thing up now and go through it with you guys. Uh, I'm sure I'll leave some things out. If you have any questions, post them on the forum, post them in the comments. I'll try to, try to get back to you on, on that. Um, I've hunted with it one time. I took it out uh, just a few days ago. It was 75, 80 degrees. I put a few miles of uh, very rough terrain on it, some thick cover. Um, it performed beautifully, and it was it was every bit as comfortable as the web, um, with a couple little features to boot. So now I'm going to kind of open this thing up and go through it. All right. So this is how it came out of the package, um, with the exception that I've got the two ropes, my tether, and my lineman here that Mr. John uh, sends with the saddles. So, the tether, uh, one of the things we always, we always worry about when we do that girth hitch on the tree, uh, and if you're new to saddle hunting, you'll soon discover it. When you come uh, through the tree, or around the tree, and you've got your tether tight, but let's say you loosen it up a little bit, this knot here, this girth hitch, tends to loosen up and might fall down the tree. Nifty little trick you put on here, it's just this little ball keeper. Whenever you get your tether tight, you slide that up there. Now your tether won't move, it won't go slack. Nifty, ingenious little idea. Um, the ropes are quality rope. Um, I think they're a fairly common one in the saddle world here. I'm not familiar with it firsthand before this. Um, the only thing I say you might want to do is drop that stopper knot out and then milk this rope down a little bit after it's been spliced. You can see the, the sheath gets a little, a little loose. Milk that out get the excess slack out of there, burn your end, and you're good to go. Um, same deal with the lineman's belt, same rope, good quality carabiners, they're light, they twist lock, um, he's got good Prusik knots, uh, or Prusik hitches on there for you, so those two ropes come with the stand. Um, you'll see I've actually got my lineman rope from another, another setup on here, that's just my preference, um, but I could easily use both of these just as well. Alright, so here's a little uh, little overview of the stand. So this is the front side where you'll be wearing it. You've got shoulder straps and then you've got a waist belt. So you'll clip that over your shoulders. You've got a, a chest band to clip through right there. Waistband clicks. You'll notice on the front you've got Lyman's loops here and here. They are easy to get to. They're right on your hip, you know, right here on your hips. Um, they click in easy, nothing to it. So I'll just give you a quick overview of that on. And I'm going to tilt you guys up just a little bit so you can see, um, clipped in, waist belt clipped in, and when I get to my tree, I'm ready to go. You'll reach over your shoulders and I'll give you a quick little overview of this as well, but you'll unclip 
your two leg loops. Leg loops come through, cinch down, leg loop here. Alright, cinch down. I'm actually going to tilt you guys up just a little bit more. There we go. That looks a little better. Alright, I am ready to climb. So, um, I would have my tether stowed away again for this video. I've got it out. But essentially, you would get clipped. Um, I keep my lineman stored there. Some people may want it in a pack, wherever you may want it. Go around the tree. You clip in. Full body harness, ready to climb. So you can. You've got your lineman's belt set up. When you get to height, here is the uh, here's the nifty little part about this. You got a couple of options. You can reach behind you or go ahead and set your tether on the tree so that your, uh, your carabiner and prusik is hanging right in front of you. And all you've got to do is pick up here and let down. And there you go. So now the back's folded in behind you. And you've got your, uh, your bridge loops. So here's one. It's got a carabiner connected to it. And here's the other. It's got the bridge loop, or the bridge girth hitch onto this loop. All you would do, clip that in front of you, clip your tether, and you're ready to hunt. You would still be hooked into your lineman's belt the whole time. I threw it to the side, obviously, for this video. But you would sit down into this, get, you know, get your Prusik adjusted, and uh, as you sit, I'll try to show this from the side here, this chair, this harness, everything is underneath you. And so you'll sit down and that grabs the tree and you're ready to go. You've never come untied, you never come undone, you have your lineman's belt around, you clip your tether in and you're ready to go. So messing with this in the yard here this morning with my coffee, um, I was trying something out and I quickly realized you do not have to have the tether behind you. That was always one of the the beefs that I have with the Guido's web was trying to reach in here and fiddle part with that, that tether. You can see this is in front of me. My lineman's belt is here. I'm clipped into the tree. Tether, tether belt, in, or the, the bridge in front of me. I can flip this up and it, and it will, of course, do it on the video and it'll hang there. There's some little hooks up on there that he puts so that you can climb. Got your lineman's belt up, you got your tether ready, you clip into your tether, you get it close to adjusted, reach back, drop down, and you're hunting. All right, now I'm gonna pull this off and then go through some of the other features with it, I'll pull it a little closer. Okay, I'm going to tilt back down a little. Apologize for the noise, guys. I'm filming this one on my own, so we're going to have to deal with it. Okay, so we're going to start with the fork. So as you can see here, get you tilted up a little bit. You've got an adjustment knob here, a little thumb screw, and this fork extends. And you've got multiple adjustments on there. So you're sitting here on this, you know, on that pad, the back's up behind you, and that fork is what rests against the tree. It's got an adjustment, so depending on the height of your tether hookup, or how tall you are, and what platform you're using, you can make an adjustment there, and that fork is what helps you ease around the tree really slowly. And I'll do another review with this thing on the tree here in the next several days. Um, you'll see how quiet and stealthily you can get around the tree. Um, this material is kind of similar to like a, uh, an awning, those shade covers or outdoor furniture, that mesh. It's really cool. Um, up underneath, you'll see you've got your, your, your safety webbing goes all, you're completely encased in webbing. You're safe the whole time. It's the same harness setup as the Guido's web. But this is a nice nifty little place to store stuff in here whenever you've got it flipped back up. Uh, the frame on the back of this thing, you, you see you've got your shoulder straps there, you know, the safety rated webbing and everything is all in there, but you've got nice foam padding 
uh, with the mesh on it so it breathes really well. Uh, you've got a handle you know, to carry the whole thing there. You've got some D-rings clipped in there. Multiple elastic bands, places to store stuff, hook stuff on here. You can hook a grunt call, a range finder, anything like that on there. Uh, the same webbing here, and then that's, that's one of the big tickets to this thing being cool. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a gap in between there and this Alice frame pack, or this Molly frame pack. Um, and that's what the other ticket besides the mesh that really sold me on this stand. It was the ability to use this thing like a frame pack. So as you can see, I can put plenty of gear. Um, you could bone out a deer, you could quarter a deer, stick it in here. So you've got the, the main webbing of the stand here, um, and then it's got some elastic, so it's got some give. You can kind of fold that out. And so you put all your gear in there, sandwich this thing up, and then underneath you've got those leg straps. They come up over the top and clip in there. And so that kind of acts like your load lifter. So this is with it tight with no gear in between, but you can let those out and fold that thing open. And now you've got plenty of room to store all your gear, your backpack, anything in there. If you're set up right and you've got a little mobility in your shoulders, you could hang your backpack straps over here, have a little small backpack inside of here, clip this down whenever you uh, get to the tree, you have this hooked up, you can get to height, flip your butt down, and have your backpack behind you, screw in a hook or a clip or whatever you're using, and pull your backpack off your back and set it right on there. Um, it's a wonderful piece of equipment for something like that. All right, um, I'm gonna go over a couple more of the features, and then they'll make a lot more sense when I do the video on the tree. Um, right here is one, probably my favorite accessory, and this is the bow holder. So two of these little uh, plastic clips, you can, you've seen them, some people put them on their, uh, their other minimal saddles on the Molly Loops to clip gear in. But you can kind of open those up a little. With those two gear hooks, you can basically hang your bow string on there, your bow sitting on your strong side, arrow knocked in between them, and you don't have to have a bow hook on the tree anymore. You don't have to reach for your bow anymore. Your hand is sitting right here. All you've got to do is come down, put your bow in your grip, and put your grip hand in the grip of your bow, and you're good to go. Now, that's a wonderful little setup. Um, again, that's kind of an overview of the stand itself. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing out on any of the accessories or anything like that. That gives you a good idea. It's about 10 pounds, maybe 10 and a half. Um, one of the one of the things that got me away from hunting tree stands to begin with was the the profile of that stand and being outside of my shoulders, outside of the width of my waist, grabbing brush, busting through. Um, if if there's any one little thing that I can nitpick about, and this is more me being a, a skinny mini than anything, um, it's that the 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 seat of this thing is darn near. Uh, as wide as a stand. You're probably looking at 18, maybe 20 inches. So the profile of it, busting through brush, things like that, uh, it, is a little, it is a little wider here. Uh, having said that, Mr. John has thought through all of this stuff. It's padded, it's got that micro suede material on it. I went through some incredibly thick cover. The way this thing packs and pulls tight to you and acts like a true frame pack, it didn't hang and rattle and bust yet you know it it rubbed on brush but it made that nice silent sound it didn't clank or tick or drag stuff across it i went through some nasty switch switch cane thickets so uh, it, it'd be the one nitpicky perfect for for mr kyle here that said if i wanted anything i'd have one with this width just maybe two inches narrower um, for some of the smaller fellas but look if you're over 200 pounds this thing ain't gonna bother you. You'll be wider than it is, and, it, and it, it's just like nothing. Um, maybe something to do if you're gonna be packing, say, a deer, or uh, you know, boning one out or quartering one out. This waistband is plenty comfortable. I towed it about 28, 30, 31 pounds total weight uh, on that hike on Friday in 80 degree weather. It was fine, it was comfortable. I went a few miles, but if I had another 30, 40 pounds in there, I may want to do a little padding down here on this waist belt. So something you could modify yourself, maybe he'll offer it as an accessory later. Hush, sorry, my co-producer over here. This is Sophie, I guess I'll introduce her. Come on, Sophie, say hello. Yeah, she loves the hybrid too. Um, it is one of those things that, you know, you can add later, but 
really no complaints. It did exactly what I thought it would do. Um, so that's, that's it in a nutshell. I'll give you guys another review on the tree. I'll maybe do a little climbing with it and then get set up and let you guys see how easy and just how comfortable it is. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.